going to show you five killer CSS tricks that are going to take the creativity and accordion so much further. We've got over here a very basic elemental accordion, okay? Nothing flash has been done to it. We've got four uh, sections to it to hide, item one, item two, item three. That's kind of giving away what the first CSS trick we, is we're gonna do. So we've got four items in effect, okay? And in terms of styling, there hasn't been much done to this other than we have a color for the text, orange color for when something is activated. So not orange, purple even. And we haven't really messed around with the typography or anything like that. Whenever you go to a page that has an accordion, it is automatically always open, which isn't a huge problem. But if you've got loads of items or you've got a video within here or you've got a very sophisticated template, you might not want the very first tab to be open. So the first CSS trick is we're going to hide the very first tab or we're going to stop the first tab from showing. So by making the first tab in your accordion a dummy field. It doesn't matter what it contains because we are gonna hide it full stop, okay? We're gonna go to our accordion, like so, go to advanced and we're gonna give it a name. I've called it a chord X. You can call it a chord, accordion, whatever you wanna name it. I've just called it a chord X. And we're gonna dump into the custom CSS some custom code. As soon as I drop this code in, it's basically saying the first of the type display is none, it is gone, right? If I take this code out, watch, it will reappear. I put that in, the first one is gone. And if I now update this and I go back to my test page, so let me refresh it so you know I'm not lying, and it refreshes, it does it refresh, probably refresh really quick, you didn't even notice it. But that item is no longer there. However, there is a little compromise. Can you see that we are now missing the top border? So as soon as we hide item one, it completely removes it. Now, there are two things you can do here. You could either go over to your border or your style over here, and you could add in a border like so. But look, if I do this, the top border is still missing. So that doesn't really work for us. Or I could go to advanced, go to border here and add in a border here. So I say solid, go for one, and I can add in a border there. However, if I wanted to have border lines in the middle, this starts to get a little bit messy. So let's just undo all of that. Let's remove all of that over there. So CSS trick number two is how can we add in a border to the top? So what I've done is really simple here. We've got a top style border solid, two pixels, and there we go. We've put the color back in. If I now do this, we now have a top border. So for CSS trick number three, I have removed the uh, the top border. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna add some spacing in of about there just to increase it. I've also given done a black background so you can see it better. And I'm gonna make that red be completely transparent. But this is what it looks like at the moment. The trick is we're gonna create rounded borders, not only for the title but for the content as well. This is so cool. So as soon as I drop the code in, it's all gone rounded. And we've got this code over here. It's saying margin top 80, border radius 25. It's applying the 25 here to the title and to the content as well. So if I now go to item two, can you see the gap we've got over here? Because it's got eight, 80 pixel. I did that on purpose. Let me change that to eight. It's a little bit more reasonable. In fact, we could probably go for about five, six there. So now it's kind of in line with the gap we got above as well. If I was to change this to be 250, that's overkill. 25 looks a bit better. Um, as you can see here now, we've got a gray, well, this is gray. I'm just gonna change the styling of the title just a little bit. I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker, just so you can see it better there, update that. And now we have this much ni nicer presentation, in my opinion. Now, one of the things about accordions is that when we style it and we go to say title, we can have a background color. We have the color for the text and we have an active color. I'm gonna change the active color to be white for a moment, okay? But the background here, the, color, the font will change, but the actual title tag doesn't actually change. Title tag, I mean the background of the title tab, okay? We again can drop in some CSS code to do that. This is amazing, okay? So I've dropped in a bit of code and I've actually dropped it right at the top above everything else that we had. So here was the one where we hide the tab. 
Here's the one where we uh, we do the top border, which we're not actually going to have here. So I could I could remove that if I wanted. In fact, I will. No, we'll, we'll leave it in. We'll leave it in. I'm just going to set it to be zero because otherwise we have a red line there. Uh, this is where we're doing the board radius. But CSS trick number four is this bit here. So what this now says is that if the tab is activated, give it a red color. If it is inactive, give it this color, which is over here. Now you might say, why have I done this? What we have to do is go to our style, go to our title, and over here, you have to clear the color. If you've accidentally gone and picked a color, just making it transparent won't work. What you've got to do is over here where it says clear, a lot of people don't aren't aware of this, but hit that to clear the color out completely. So now in our advanced tab down here, doo -doo -doo -doo, down here, we've now said that if it is not activated, it will be that color. If it's activated, it will be red. Look, you'll see an action. So now we have colors being used on our accordion rather than just one blank color. So remember, clear the color in your style. And you can add over here, what is the active color and what is the inactive color? Okay, and, and that will do it. Let's now move on to CSS trick number five. So we're saying when it's um, inactive, we will have a size of 16. And if I was to go over here and put in 160, it shows that we're now controlling what it looks like before. You can also change this, by the way. You don't have to have uh, pixels. So I could go with 1.1. Uh, I could go with REM like that. Uh, and I could go over here and I could change this to be uh, 3 REM as well. Uh, let me just get rid of the X over there. Okay, so that's 1.1 REM. And then when we click on it, it's going to go red and we're going to get 3 REM. And I could change this to be, that's too big. Let's go for 2 instead. So here are five really cool tricks that we could apply whereby we've hidden tab number one. We, we, I've shown you how you could add a border radius to the top if you so want. We now have rounded um, uh, borders to our tabs and to our content and you could take it off the content if you want or just have it on the content and not have it on the tab. We've also changed the background color and we have changed the text sizing as well. You don't have to do the text sizing, you know, that's probably a bit of overkill, but simple bit of code. There'll be a link over there to get it. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. But five killer CSS tricks to make accordions just a little bit more exciting. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.